guys i'm starting off my morning with some coffee i usually just drink coffee or matcha but today i really want to make some pumpkin coffee and i have some pumpkin puree in here so i'm going to show you guys how i make it So I'm starting off with the pumpkin puree in my cup and this is the one I'm using to put in all like the pumpkin flavor and then I'm going to put my coffee in this one and I'll just pour this on top of my coffee. So I'm going to be adding some vanilla syrup and this is some vanilla syrup that I made. So you basically just boil sugar and vanilla together and it makes vanilla syrup but it's homemade so there's you kind of know like what you put in there and i like my coffee sweet so i'm gonna put in like a good bit of the vanilla and then we have the pumpkin and we obviously need some pumpkin spice too so just a bunch of that and then maybe a little extra cinnamon. And then I'm gonna add in some oat milk to mix it all in. And I'm gonna use this little milk frother from Ikea. Now this is the fun part where you pour it all in this is the finished drink it looks so good um, this is the second best part mixing it all up And this is my finished coffee. It's really good. It has that pumpkin and vanilla flavor. And then it has oat milk, which makes it even better. Um, and it's iced. I love iced coffee. So I'm going to go drink this and get ready for the day. Okay, so now it's hair time. And I'm just going to refresh my curls with my Dyson Airwrap. Okay, so I'm done and now I'm just gonna wait for them to like really cool down while I do my makeup and then after I'm done with that I'll just give them a little brush through that way they're just nice and loose okay so now I'm gonna move on to makeup so first things first I'm gonna clip back my hair these little clips are from Amazon they were like six bucks for like six of them and they're really good I'm really excited to do my makeup today. I'm trying some new products from Merit Beauty. They come in this really cute makeup bag. You could totally use this as like a little bag for anything else too. But it's like a black velvet makeup bag and it just ties up like this. And it just looks like a really adorable little pouch. And you can get one of these too if you order from Merit Beauty in the month of December, I believe. They're giving out the black velvet makeup bags. 
and you just have to make a purchase on their website and I believe that your order comes in this little baggie. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this little makeup bag. It's so cute, but I'm going to show you guys what's inside, what I picked up from them. I got the little brush to put on the foundation and then here is their little foundation stick. It's called the Perfecting Complexion Stick. So I got that to go with this and I think this works as like a concealer too. I got two lip glosses because I'm totally a gloss girl and these colors are so pretty. And then I also got this highlighting balm. It's like a really pretty rose gold. And this mascara, which I actually already tried yesterday and it's amazing. That is it for my hair and makeup and then I'm probably just gonna stay in my robe this robe is the coziest thing ever it's from Sam's Club my mom bought it for me and I love it I wear it every single day I work at American Eagle and I'm doing floor set tonight so I don't go in until about 9 p.m. and then I get off around 1 I'm gonna set the phone back down but I don't get off until like 1 a.m. it's like a super quick shift I am just helping put all the new product out onto the floor. So that is what I'm doing today. Also, I want to mention my cute case. It's from Wildflower Cases and it's so cute. I waited like four weeks for this to get here. It was taking forever, but it's so worth it because it's so cute. I love it it also came with this cute little sticker and I just put it on my laptop and I love it I'm just obsessed guys like this is the cutest case I've ever seen I'm actually currently working on editing a winter haul so just a bunch of cute winter things I'm so excited for you guys to see it and I know you guys love the American Eagle hauls and I love making them so i'm almost done so i'm actually gonna do some gift wrapping first i have to wrap some gifts for my friend and then i will probably edit this video i also have to make lunch i'm kind of hungry so so i thought it would be fun if i showed you guys me wrapping the gifts and then i'll just kind of like show you what i got her too in case you guys need some last minute gift ideas and I know some people don't really see their like friends for like Christmas like if you're not gonna see them till like a week or a few weeks later and you still have time to like buy them gifts it might be useful to see like what I got my friend so I'm gonna show you guys all right so this year we had a $35 gift limit so first thing are these cute little headbands you basically put these on whenever you're gonna wash your hair or if you just want to keep like your hair out of your face and they're really soft the colors are so pretty so i love that and i think she'll love that too then i got her this little necklace it is so cute so this is what it looks like it's a gold necklace and it comes with a little chain and it looks like this it's a pretty good length so it's not like too short but it doesn't look like it's too long and then this just attaches and it honestly looks like it's really good quality so i'm really excited for that i feel like she likes jewelry so i thought that she would love this then i got her this little cup so this is what it looks like it's so freaking cute like i want this for myself i basically want everything for myself so I guess that's like a good thing if I heard some candy just to kind of like throw in there. I'm not the best at wrapping gifts. I kind of like the idea of it, but then I get annoyed and I don't want to do it. So 
also I don't even have the right kind of tape for this all I have is packing tape or like packaging tape so I'm cutting it into tiny little pieces and I'm gonna use that for tape Alright you guys, so I finished wrapping gifts. Well actually, I didn't have enough wrapping paper for this one. I ran out, so I have to go buy more. But then they're gonna be mismatched, so I don't think she'll care though, so like whatever. But as you could probably tell, wrapping gifts is not my favorite thing. Like I kind of suck and it just it's just really frustrating for me. So I did my best though. I did my best and they are wrapped. Hi guys, so my camera died. I'm just gonna record the rest of my clips on my phone and then I have to also transfer those over to my computer and I'm gonna start editing this vlog and I also have my American Eagle haul that I'm trying to edit. So I might stop by the mall. I have that jacket right over there. I'm still trying to decide if I wanna keep or return it. So here's the jacket in question. It's like a super oversized, I guess you could say Sherpa. It's like actual wool, I think, because it also smells a little funky. Um, but it's from H&M. Okay, so here it is. Like I said, it's super oversized. So I got fully dressed just so you guys can get like the full picture. But as you can see, it's so oversized that I just don't know if I should keep it. And this is actually my second time ordering it. I already ordered it in a small and I returned it. And then this is an extra small. So I don't know, guys. I think I'm leaning on returning it just because it's a little expensive for just all the cons. But anyways, tell me what you guys think. Should I keep or return it? Thank you.